Are you concerned about a toddler or preschooler in your life who may be showing early signs of autism? Today, we are covering some of the signs and maybe if it's going to be autism or possibly just a speech delay or early signs of ADHD. Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Barbera, autism mom, behavior analyst, and best-selling author. Each week, I provide you with some of my ideas about turning autism or signs of autism around. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can do that now. Today, we are sharing a small excerpt from Podcast 206, which is a classic rebroadcast of a podcast I did on the same topic way back in 2019. And um, we really can't tell if it's autism or not in a very young child, but let's listen to this small clip about some of my ideas. Parents are feeling stressed and then they're being told, okay, it might be autism. Maybe it's ADHD. Maybe it's um, oppositional defiant disorder, bipolar. I mean, all these potential diagnoses um, when a child exhibits major problem behavior or is developmentally delayed. So they're not drinking out of an open cup like their same age peers. They're not sharing. They're not participating in circle time. They're not talking. Um, and the other issue is maybe your child is, is actually a baby. Maybe, maybe you're worried about a baby because you have an older child or the family has an older child with autism. So you're watching the baby like a hawk and you're wondering, are there ways to engage the baby that might, um, help, uh, just their general engagement level might help get, get them talking quicker, get them not tantruming. And yes, um, the rate of autism for siblings, if you already have one child with autism, the rate of having a second child is almost 20%. It's 19% from the uh, study that I know of done several years ago. And so that's one in five odds that your child is going to have autism, the second child. Um, I did a podcast episode with a former client's mom, uh, Jen, and she talked about, she went on to have, well, she had a baby. She was pregnant when she found out Cody had autism and then she went and had another baby and both her girls do not have autism. But, um, the, in addition to having one in five chance of having autism, they also have a higher rate of having a speech delay or ADHD or some other issues. So it's good not to stick your head in the sand. Um, if you have another child or maybe you have a nephew with autism and you're worried, um, about your baby. So, um, my thought is get to be, um, watch, watch any baby or toddler closely. And there is a lot you can do to start turning things around on your own without a diagnosis, without a full team of professionals. I developed a a uh, guide called, is it autism, ADHD, or typical toddler tantrums? Three steps you can take today instead of worrying. And the three steps, and actually my toddler preschooler course can help you regardless if your child never gets a, a diagnosis of autism. If your child is just a little bit behind, if you're worried about a sibling um, and you want to put techniques in place when they're one and two, that will really give them the best odds of talking and not tantruming and all these things. I hope you enjoyed that small excerpt. If you did, you can listen to the whole podcast at marybarbera.com forward slash 206. And we can link that in the description below. Also, if you are interested in learning more about how to join our online course and community, you can attend a free workshop to see if it's the right fit at marybarbera.com forward slash workshop. And I'll see you right here next week.